fresh air entering the lung C of 160. The presence of moisture in the lung results in reduction of the PO2 to 104. Fresh air entering the lung carries carbon dioxide with a PCO, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, of 0 0.3. The carbon dioxide delivered to the lung from the blood raises the PCO to 40. At the arterial ends of the pulmonary capillaries, oxygen diffuses from the air in the alveoli into the blood and carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli because of differences in partial pressures. As a result of diffusion at the venous ends of the pulmonary capillaries, the PO in the blood is equal to the PO3 in the alveoli, and the PCO in the blood is equal to the PCOJ in the alveoli. With no differences in partial pressure, there is no more net movement of oxygen or carbon dioxide. Oxygen diffuses out of the arterial ends of tissue capillaries into the tissue fluid, then into the cells, and carbon dioxide diffuses out of the cells into the tissue fluid, then into the blood, because of differences in partial pressures. At the venous ends of tissue capillaries, the PO2 in the blood is equal to the PO2 in the tissue fluid and the PCO2 in the blood is equal to the PCO2 in the tissue fluid, resulting in no more net movement of oxygen or carbon dioxide. The blood now carries the oxygen and carbon dioxide to the lungs. In the body, all of these exchanges occur simultaneously.